it was kind of cheap to keep saving. We couldn't do this on the original Super, or blah, 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 not Super, on the original Nintendo back in the day. You didn't have save states, but yeah, here we do. So I guess we might as well take advantage of them, right? Ah, oh, I hate that freaking penguin. And that's why I'm using the saves, because I hate the freaking penguins. Oh, trained so hard to avoid the penguin, I killed myself. Is either a speedrunner or a liar? Well, you might call me a liar, but Chris will back me up when I say this. We used to rent these games from Noble Electronics, and we had to play them all in one weekend while we rented the Nintendo and rented the game. So he and I would individually or as a tag team bust our ass beating these games in one weekend we did it with Mega Man games we did it with Super Mario games we did it with Mario 2 we did it with Mario 3 in fact one of my favorite memories of gaming from when Chris and I were younger was uh, we got so excited when Bowser fell through at the end of Super Mario Brothers 3 that we jumped up and down for joy to high-five each other and this Nintendo that we rented was so flaky that it reset itself. So we didn't get to see the end because we got too excited. We jumped up to celebrate and we didn't see the end of the game. We, we saw Bowser die, we beat the game, but we didn't get to see the ending. We had to do it all over again just to see the end. Oh, I didn't load. How did I not load? I was so busy telling that story, I didn't load. All right. Oh, nope, that's not going to do it. Load. Return. Oh. Oh. Can I hang on? Can I hang on? Get me close enough. Oh. Okay, I will save. I will so save. Yes, I'm overriding that shit. <sighs> okay. Yeah, Super Mario 3 with the extremely touchy pins. And there was a third party accessory, but we didn't use. I don't think Noble Electronics had one. Mm. Sorry, needed a Coke break there. Okay. Now that I've got through these stupid platforms, I can pick up the extra life. And some much needed power ups. And there's the Stomper. I'll run right past him. Yeah, we're to the boss fight now. Just got a few more of these freaking penguins in the tunnel as we work our way over. They could drop some power ups. That would be really helpful. Energy tanks, please. Come on. Can I... No, I can't. I just gotta do the fight now. Well, I'm gonna die the first time and do it over with a Lechman's weapon. I'm not gonna... Unless I, I manage to just freaking beat Iceman without even needing to use the Lechman, but I'm so low on energy that I'm just gonna probably take the L here and go back with full health, and then use a Lech Man. Yeah, I got plenty of extra lives, so I'm good with it at this point. Yeah, and now one of them drops an energy tank, wouldn't you know it? Now, the pause trick Chris was talking about earlier, Sir Crunch, that is, is using a Lech Man on the Yellow Devil, but that's much later in the game. For now, a Lech Man is just good for shredding Iceman. Because electricity and water do not mix. You're toast, buddy. And I mean that literally. See? I didn't even take one hit. Ah, oh, that's satisfying. Alright. So from Iceman, we move on to Fireman. Let's do this. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, Greg, this is another one of those jamming levels. I love this fireman music. What did Retro say? Oh yeah, you can use the pause trick in Mega Man 2 as well. You're right about that. These are the fire things that float down at you. Yeah. Oh, shit! That was really dumb. I was trying to jump to the ladder and I got touched. But, you know what? I think I got like three... Oh, no, I only have one extra life, so... Maybe if I bomb this, I'll just start over with a whole set of lives. But if I get through it, then I get through it. because I got impatient, but sometimes that's the way things go. And yes, I know I can use the ice weapon to freeze the fire there, but since I can just time it, I don't really need to. Alright. Take care of that section. I'll jump over it for the energy charge, since that's an easy one to get. Now, if I needed those energy tanks, I would freeze the fire and jump off of them, but I don't, so it's all good in the hood. Except I took a hit that I didn't need to. Once again, it's a matter of timing. One, two. One, two. I botched it, but oh well. I thought there was something down there. But there's not. Damn, I am botching it up all over the place here. Botchamania running wild. Oof. Oh. Jeez. Okay, stop screwing around here. There we go. That's more like it. That's not more like it. Okay. Uh, I think that that flowing current actually hurts you. I feel like it does, so I might be dead here. Yep. So this is my last life. Either I get through this or I don't. I'll just use the hit bump there from getting hit. I don't need to keep using it. go with this thing again. Oh yeah, you can time it. It's just really freaking hard. I got through one of them. Oh, uh, here are the bomber ones. I knew I was going to see them sooner or later. You can kill them, but if you're near the explosion when you kill them, it hurts you. Which is really cruel. Need some 
cutting power here. Alright. Oh, Retro. I can't put links, but his channel is Timothy Tim PSP. Search his name along with Mega Man PSP. He made about three variants. Cool! I'll check that out. Yeah, I've got the Mega Man Powered Up games and uh, a bunch of PSP import stuff like uh, like uh, Rockman. Oh, no, what did they call it? It Mega Man Legends. So I think they called it Rockman Legends, but I feel like they called it something else. But you know, Mega Man Legends One and Two for PSP. I've got like imports of that for PSP as well. Even though I can't read Japanese, I've got them anyway. Mm. But uh, I also have a PSP with the original firmware on it, like 1.5 or whatever it was when it shipped. So I could play Mega Man on there, the 8-bit NES Mega Man, because that one you didn't have to jailbreak. It was basically jailbroken out of the box, and they released like firmware 2.0 right away to solve that problem, but I never upgraded that one. I just left it with its native firmware on it because I already knew about that. So I can play Turbo Graphics games on there, NES games on there, anything I want. Okay, let's see if this drops an energy tank. No. No. Well, this might be slightly insane of me, but I think I'm going to try save stating this and see if I can use my ice and survive this even with the minimal amount of power that I have left. 